it's Nelson here and in this video I wanted to take a quick look at the NVIDIA Broadcast app. It is free but it is only available to PC users that have a NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So right now I am using a gaming laptop that has a NVIDIA RTX 2070. So I am able to use this app and it does two really important things uh, with the camera and the microphone. So this is great for content creators and streamers. This is something I wish I had years ago but uh, let's talk about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and dive right into one of the coolest features and that is um, the background blur and uh, the background removal. So as you can see, I have it turned on right now. Let me go ahead and turn it off. And you can see that's before and then after. This is a 1080p camera. It's okay. It's a pretty cheap camera. I think it's under $100. I think it's pretty affordable. Um, but even with the integrated camera, let me go ahead and switch that. My integrated camera. Okay, well, so this camera is really low. Let me go ahead and try and do this. Okay. So this is my built-in camera. This is a, a 720p camera built into the laptop. It's not great at all. In fact, it looks terrible. Let's go ahead and turn off the background blur. And you can see it's, it, it's really bad. I would not do, get on a video call with this type of quality. With the background blur, it looks better, but I still got to adjust it up. Again, it's in a weird position. It's like right below my screen. It's really weird. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back to the Logitech camera. Okay, there we go. Now, we, now we're better. So yeah, this webcam was okay. Uh, I haven't used it in a long time, but with the NVIDIA broadcast app now I actually would use it because it just enhanced the quality especially with that background blur uh, and I mentioned before yeah background removal it depends on your lighting and it depends on like if I'm standing directly in front of the camera it works but also my chair is uh, kind of see-through it has it's like mesh so that's why it's having a hard time picking up my chair but uh yeah it works and I can also do uh, background replacements, I could put a color or I can put a picture. Like, let me go ahead and do it. There you go. Oh, that's the last one I did. Okay, this is fine. I did that as a test uh, and it's there. I can also do auto frame. Basically what auto frame does is that it's zoomed in, but uh, it's using the actual resolution to follow my face. So I don't know how this come in handy. Maybe if I'm doing an unboxing and I'm moving a lot, or if I'm just, you know, I had a lot of coffee and I'm just moving my head around a lot. So yeah, this is really cool that it's all built in. I didn't need any extra hardware. Uh, a few years ago, I bought a green screen off of Amazon, a really cheap green screen, uh, less than 20 bucks. It's a crappy cloth and, and a tripod. It took up so much space in my room and it, I had to get lighting and it, was, it wasn't it was that hard to get set up, but it took up a lot of space and it was extra time wasted. So it, it's really great that now you don't even need a green screen. You don't gotta worry about the extra setup, the wrinkles in that green screen and uh, all the extra headaches that come with that green screen setup. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing mine out. I don't need it anymore. Uh, I know Zoom and Microsoft Teams, they have um, the background blur and the background replacement and they have noise canceling as well, but uh, I don't think it's as good as this. And this is great for content creators and streamers. So uh, yeah, that's the NVIDIA broadcast app. It works exactly the way they said, and uh, I'm going to keep using it. All right, so that is it for this video. It's been a while since I've done a video talking about software and not actual hardware. Uh, but I like doing this. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you guys care about social media, you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at TechGeekNelson.